Well, firstly, Joanna, thank you so much for speaking to the Aussie Wire here at ARC. We've come from Australia to bring coverage. You've come from Germany to be here. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? You're an independent politician in Germany. Exactly. I'm a, I'm a member of the German parliament. Okay. And I left my party a year ago and now I'm independent and, and fighting for what I think is right in the German parliament and what's missing in Germany. So is that why you left? You felt that you couldn't fight for what you believed was right and be a part of that, that party? Yeah, they, they changed paths. It was ah. a party who started 10 years ago fighting for freedom. Okay. And now they think maybe Russia and China are good allies or Iran. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. something I can't say or agree with. So I said, yeah. okay, I have to leave. I can't, I can't. But, okay. yeah. What actually brings you to ARC though? That's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one thing to be a politician, obviously to, to want to make a difference. Um, you've come here for a reason. What are you looking for here? To find like-minded people, okay. to connect with the people who see the same problems that I see. I think we have the same problems all over the Western world. Yeah. And we need to connect and to fight these problems together, fight for freedom together. Because mm. a lot of people think, oh, I'm alone. Mm. Or we're just a small group fighting mm. for what's right in this world. And mm. um, to connect and see, no, there's a lot of us. Mm. And they're all looking for the better story. Yeah. Um, that's encouraging. That's what I hope to do here. So this better story, this is the theme of the ARC launch and, and um, what, what is this better story and, and what was wrong with the story that we had? I think we lost our story. I don't think we have our story anymore. We don't have values anymore. We don't have our beliefs anymore. Everybody's just living, mm. not connected to, to other people. It's just living and um, the left parties and the left wingies, they, they managed to tell another story. They yeah. managed to tell, we're all going to die if we don't fight climate crisis right now. And all mm -hmm. these kind of stories, and they were pretty successful mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the liberals, the conservatives, the, we don't have our stories yet. We, we lost it. Mm -hmm. and that's what we need to find again, to raise our voices and to, to find against the mainstream and the cancel culture and to be courageous yeah. about it. So. How does something like ARC apply back to the people of Germany? I mean, here we have a couple of global elites. We have the likes of Lady Philippa Stroud. We have the likes of, of Jordan Peterson. Uh, these are people with tremendous track records. They've done amazing things. But at the same time, that does put them into a category that's out of reach of the common person, yeah. much more so the common person in Germany yeah. uh, versus here in, in, in the UK or, or the Anglosphere, the English-speaking world. Why is this relevant? Why is what's happening here relevant to your constituents? Because I think we are then responsible when we leave ARC and we go back to our countries to spread the spirit, to talk to other people, to talk to our voters, to talk to normal people and to tell them what we have heard here and build the story in our own country then. So get the inspiration, get the message, spread it in your own country. Was there any particular person who's on the, on the speaker's roster that you were particularly excited about hearing? A drunk user. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, there is another um, uh, female politician from, from Austria, Gudrun, who, who I'm very keen to see. Okay. Um, but there are a lot of interesting people. You see, seeing the, the congressman here as well, it's, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, amazing yeah. to see McCarthy. Good kind of humor. Yeah. I didn't yeah, yeah. know that. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see all these guys. Yeah. So if you could have a wish list, if there was one thing that you just would specifically love to see come out of art, what would that one thing be? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that we all leave here being motivated to change something, to bring change to the world, to bring change to, to our countries, to fight for the freedom we've lost. And we lost a lot of freedom. Um, before COVID, then during COVID, we lost all of our freedom. Mm -hmm. And to bring this spirit back to our countries and say it's worth fighting for. Yeah. We lost something and we need to find it again and we, we need to fight for it. And um, if to reach the politicians, I mean, I'm a politician myself, but yeah. I see how difficult it is and what a show it is mm -hmm. in a parliament. Mm -hmm and that they don't care anymore about the people, they don't care about the freedom, they don't care about the country, they care about being re-elected, they care about having money, they care about having power. And to tell the people at home that's not okay. We need to change that, and rapidly. And to vote people in parliament who are willing to change that, who are not only about after the money, but who have a clear vision for the country.
Mm. Well, it's been fantastic chatting. Thank you so much for talking to us here at the Aussie Wire. Thank you very much. Pleasure.